Hello and welcome back to Tops Web. Uh, in this episode we're going to do the ninth of a series in Joomla uh, for racedirectory.com project in which we're going to add a user menu. Uh, this menu will be a menu that can only be seen by registered users and uh, have content available for that. So, <laughs> he's annoying pop-ups. Okay, um, so what I've done to prepare for this is, is I've already installed CC Board. It's a forum um, type uh, extension and uh, web board kind of thing. Uh, it's got very high ratings except for some dude here didn't like it. Uh, everyone else gave it five stars. So um, we're going to go with it and see what it what our opinion is and get ourselves logged in there. Um, so the place to start is going to go to menu manager and uh, if you're going to add a menu and we're going to hit new <clears throat> now in any of these screens where you see the blue eye uh, icon here then uh, it'll give you information about each uh, of the uh, fields in the form so the unique name we're just going to be uncreative and call it well, unless we spell it wrong. Uh, the title, this is what's going to show up in Menu Manager as, and what's going to show up on the front page of the site there when it's when you're logged in. So we want, definitely want to uh, put that in there. What I'm referring to is like Main Menu's title is right there. You can call it whatever you want. Registered Users, um, whatever. Uh, and, and you can always change it at any time. Description, this really means nothing, but it might, just as I say that, um, it, may, it may have a relevant somewhere else. Now, this one is probably the most, if you fill out any of them, I would say these three. Um, the, mod, the module title, however, um, if you look over here, it tells you pretty much don't leave it blank or else you'll never be able to do anything with it. Good advice. So we're going to call it user menu. Uh, the reason is is that it's going to add it to our extensions modules uh, um, area there. And I'll explain that in just a moment. Okay so now we have a main menu and a user menu. Um, right now it's uh, what do you want to call it? Just on paper, not in the real world, it will not show up on the site yet. That's what we will do in the extensions. Uh, but here we're going to describe its content of the menu. That's what we do over here. So I, I think that's the one part about Joomla to get, get your head around is um, everything is either content control or uh, framework control, I guess is the best way I can describe it. It's, it's not... Uh, um, combined together and there's good reasons for that it makes it more flexible that way but it, it for the initial user it gets a little it can be a little hairy <laughs> it was for me getting first in, involved with Joomla and then once I once you understand what it, the way it's put together it's it's a uh, pretty easy so now what we're doing now is adding when we've now are going to add um, a control for the user menu. Now we're going to put items inside of it and we're only going to put the one uh, being for the forum and we're going to link to our software there, CC Board. And it gives us a list of options to choose from and I'm just going to pick topic list. I'm not, haven't gone into the to it yet so I don't really know what the different views will look like yet but that seems logical and we'll call it forum very generic at the moment and call it the alias forum and we're going to display in the user menu registered users can only get there that's important and we're going to hit save. There's really nothing in the parameters to do with this particular one. 
Okay, so there you go. Registered users. Pretty much everything in the user menu that we're creating is going to be registered users. Okay, so now let me run over here to extensions and get going on there. Okay, so now we've built the content. Now we're going to add the framework. How to? How will it? Um, how will, will it be positioned? And who has access to it? And those sort of things. So, as you can see right now, it's not enabled. If I were to click it right now, it will show up on the site, um, but it won't show. In fact, let's just let me show you that, just so you can see what I mean there you go user menu has nothing in it because we're not logged in we've said registered users can only only uh, be in there and you as you notice it puts it at the top and by default and that's not where we want it um, at least I don't so and I'm the one making it so in module man manager we're just gonna click on it and edit it and as you can see because falls under that title that we gave it over here. We were able to click on it. Uh, that makes life good. We tell it to show the title. As you can see, that's what showed up. And it's not this title. I don't think it's this title. I think it's the other title. I could be wrong on that. It could be one or the other. I always make them the same. So, um, no use complicate making things more complicated than they need to be. And the position is uh, left that's where we want it now you have other options you can obviously as you can see here right uh, syndicate top user one user three now I just did a site and it didn't have top so I think in fact I had to use user three and I guess that may be indicative of the type of theme that you're using um, I'm just not sure because my Top's website, I'm actually converting over to Joomla on it, and it had top. I was just real surprised. But um, So if you have that, and you want it on the top, going across the top, there's where you go. Or otherwise, just a little tip, you try user 3. I don't know why, but that's what, what the site I was doing was, was. Okay, so now the order. I want to put it below the main menu and I want only register users to see it so I don't want you to even see that there is a user menu unless you log in and then boom there it is that's how we'll do it and there's the items uh, nothing really to do there and the parameters are pretty nothing really fantastic to know or do there and we're gonna hit save All right, so now everything should be working the way we want it to. Let's uh, let's see. User menu should now disappear, and it did. So if we log in, it should show up right here. Bingo. And I like the way this collapses underneath it. it gives you the that. It may we may want to put sign in at the top later. I'm not sure, but user menu. If the person's logged in, we're going to give them different things that they can see and do, as opposed to the general user that will come and visit the site. Obviously, we want to put content for people to, that are coming to the site to want to be a user, so and then really wow them there. So, okay, that's the user menu uh, tutorial. I appreciate your uh, patronage, and if you would please visit us on Facebook. We have a fan page built. I have. Uh, trying to get some fans um, added there and YouTube we are at top tops web LLC um, obviously on Facebook it's tops web comma LLC if you're searching for it and uh, please feel free to go to topsweb.net and get your own Joomla site for as low as $3.99 a month and thank you very much